Hello guys, what is up? It is the Citrus Panda here today, and I'm coming at you with episode 6 of our Dark Souls 2 Kirito Challenge. So, right off the bat here, I want to talk about a few things, and I also uh, did what I told you guys I wasn't going to do, and I looked up on YouTube, how the heck do you get to the second boss in this area right here? I can't forget his name. Okay, Forest of the Fallen Giants. In this area... There is a second boss, it's called the Pursuer, I didn't know its name, but it's called the Pursuer, and I wanted to go find it. I know what it's not now. Um, I guess it kind of, if I looked around more, probably would have found it, but I wasn't looking in the right place, and frankly, it just didn't really matter. I gave up and I was going to go to Hyde's Tower of Flame, but then I just decided that, you know what, no, I'll look it up, I'll look it up, because... I think that if I look it up and then I can actually show you it, maybe we can get a, a good boss fight. I don't know. I doubt I'm going to beat this thing on the first try. Am I human? I am not human. Eh, can you summon people for the fight? Probably. I say we probably go do a test run before we uh, get anybody helping us. Get a test run to see how the boss goes. And then we'll summon somebody to help us out if we, if we need to. Hmm. That guy usually is standing there. And that person is usually there, too. Oh, that's weird. Maybe when you beat the boss, uh, maybe they don't respond. That's kind of a weird thing to note, but maybe that does happen. That's kind of cool, and that's kind of weird as well. Maybe they just didn't spawn. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't really matter. But anyway. Oh, man! Oh, man! I forgot about that. Oh, oh, man. That was that was crazy. I forgot there were two spearmen always there. Wow. Wow. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. That got me. That got a lot of health taken off of me. Although, we're really just doing a test run of the of the boss right now, so it doesn't really matter if we do die. Uh, it's not really worth healing up. I say we just use Estus, uh, actually, because I don't know how this boss is going to go. I don't even know what the boss looks like, so it should be very interesting to find it out. Uh, we're going to go up the staircase. Also, oh, there's a guy right here. I'm going to talk about one thing before we fight the boss. Uh, I guess we'll, I'll just talk about it as I fight the boss. So, uh... As far as my schedule for these videos go, I'm not going to be doing these daily. Uh, I feel like well, I have fun doing YouTube videos. It's kind of like my hobby. So I feel like if I do them every single day, day after day, it kind of becomes like this, like almost like a chore, almost. Although I do enjoy making them. Uh, I'd like to do it not daily. I would just like to kind of do it at my own leisure. Hmm. Soul of the Name of Soldier and a Life Gem. Times three. Nice. Seven Life Gems. Um, and basically, I will be uploading... A Kirito Challenge video until the series is over or until I discontinue the series, which I don't think the second one's going to happen, but until I finish the game, um, I'll be making a video every other day. So you can look forward to a video every other day of the Kirito uh, Challenge. And on the in between days, I have decided that I will kind of leave that as a random day. If I want to make a video on that day, if I feel like making a video, then what I'll do is I'll make a video. But it's not going to be Dark Souls 2, it'll be something else. Wait, that's the guy? That's the guy that was earlier. That is that guy. I, I thought maybe it was that guy, because I did read online, and it was saying you saw him earlier in the game. I didn't see what he looked like, but yep, that's the guy. Um, earlier in the game, he actually got dropped off. I wonder what happens if you, if you kill him earlier in the game. Like, if you actually kill him before this part in the game, I wonder what happens. Alright, so let's try to fight this guy. I'm not sure. So, to basically recap... Oh my god. Alright, well, we hit him once. Alright, so to recap about this, uh, basically, I will be doing a Dark Souls 2 video every other day, and on the in-between days, I will do random videos, not Dark Souls 2, but just random videos, and also, I just, uh, I want to put this out there too, actually, I might do Dark Souls 2 videos on the days in-between, I actually wanted to try out some of the, like, uh, kind of different kind of videos with Dark Souls 2, like, uh, I don't know, uh, like, almost like cinematic kind of videos, like with music playing and cinematic kind of you know, camera work or whatever, I don't know, maybe some, like, talking and some character, I don't know, it's, um, if you've ever seen the Sunlight Maggots channel, how he does those kind of videos, I want to do it similar to that, ooh, a stab, that's interesting, I didn't know he would do a stab, this guy is actually pretty easy, except that I just got hit right there, so I just kind of proved myself wrong, but that's gonna hit me, isn't it, no, it's not, drink up, Estus, drink up, Estus, um, so basically, I will be doing a uh, Dark Souls video every other day, and I already said this, but yeah, that's pretty much what's going to happen on the channel. So, if you like Dark Souls 2, then simply uh, come back every other day for Kirito Challenge, and that's what you can watch. Um, if you want to see me play other games, uh, you can do that as well. I'll be uh, every in-between the days, if I feel like making a video. 
Um, so what's guaranteed is Dark Souls 2. So if you're looking for Dark Souls 2, that's guaranteed. Uh, the other videos aren't guaranteed. They're just kind of like, eh, if, it, if I am going to make a video, then it's going to be there. But if I don't, then it's not going to be there. Oh, man. Dang it. Oh, okay. That is, uh... This boss seems pretty easy, although that I'm probably going to eat my words. But, in general, I he seems like a pretty pretty chill guy. Pretty easy kind of kind of boss. Um... He does charge at you every once in a while, but he, you just dodge him to the left, to the right, so there we go. Oh man, oh man. So I'm going to hit him twice, probably. That probably wasn't a good idea, hitting him twice, but um, yeah, I just noticed that like halfway through the fight, I was actually using my R1 instead of my L L1, so yeah, I should have been using my L1 the whole time, because I, I am in Power Stance. Power Stance versus Good old Pursuer. Um, by the way, my video that I put Power Stance in the title, I think my prediction was right. Putting Power Stance in the title, my newest video does have like a, over 100 views. So, I think putting Power Stance in the title, apparently it just makes the video 10 times better and everybody watches it. Um, and it's also got, it's got a pretty, oh man, his sword reaches all the way around. Oh man, this is bad. Uh, oh no, oh no. Uh, I've got to heal up, but I don't know how I'm going to do it. No! Yeah, I, I, I see, I made a mistake there. Uh, it's a classic mistake that you shouldn't make when you're playing Dark Souls 2, or any Dark Souls game, or any Souls game for that matter. Uh, whenever you're close to dying, you're desperately trying to find a place to heal. It's usually not a good idea. It's usually not, because you're looking for this place to hide, or you're looking for this place to heal, and then... Although, I mean, if you dodged correctly, you wouldn't have died in the first place. And I, I think that maybe if I just kept on dodging there, I wouldn't have died. So that was kind of my fault. I think we're going to try it one more time. Uh, this time I'm going to turn human before I actually fight him. Should we summon somebody to help us out with the boss fight? I don't know. Uh, I will see if there... If there is someone to help us out, I will probably summon somebody. I'm not above that. I'm not above trying to get some help for the boss fight. But, uh... Anyway, we'll try it one more time. That guy's wearing Ferris's hat, isn't he? That's pretty cool they added Ferris hat back in the game. I'd assume that there's actually people waiting outside the boss's room to help people with it and also to get souls for it. Uh, I actually might just help someone out with it before I actually fight him to get some, some souls. Might actually be a good idea. But um, now we know that there's two spearmen here. Actually, I knew it before, but apparently I'm an idiot and I just didn't think about it. So he's going to do that. I'm going to do... Wow! Really? A running attack? I didn't know you could do a running attack. Let's do that. And let's do that. And let's do that. And uh, I figured that might hit him. Hey, buddy. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, you're dead. Um, I'll see how much health I lose on the way there. Hopefully, I won't lose any more health. But if I do, then it's worth using an Estus Flask. If I don't lose any more health, then I will not use an Estus Flask. That's, that's that. It's pretty simple. I uh, will that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do a kick or not a kick, but you know what I mean Whatever you it's like the opposite of it's like what a kick is if you have a in this game I guess you can't do kicks in this game anymore. You can do this though, and you can do this and this to follow it up All right, I like I like dual wielding so far. It's not bad I, I like I definitely like it in the, better than the other souls games. There's actually an incentive to dual wield so It's interesting. Uh, there are people helping out with the pursuer boss, so I'm gonna summon somebody can I summon anybody? Like, an NPC? I'm seeing if I can summon an NPC, just in case. Uh, Alcon. Basically, they're their numbers and their names. You know that they're not an actual NPC. Alright, so I can touch a summon sign. I could get two people to help. You know what? Why not? We'll get three people. Uh, we'll get three people all up in this boss. I think that even makes it a more, uh, more authentic challenge. I think... <coughs> sorry. Uh, excuse me, but... I think, uh... Honestly, I could probably solo him. As you, as you saw... I was doing a pretty good job there of, of soloing that boss. And you know what I see? I see a stink bug on my freaking stand. And I've got to get this stink bug. So let me go get this stink bug because I hate stink bugs. Alright, I'm back. Uh, that might have been cut out. Possibly not. I don't know. But uh, if I end up cutting that out, then, you know, uh, a stink bug landing on my... I landed on my microphone and I did not want to uh, mess with that. So... I hate stink bugs. Uh, up, up here, up in here in the northern USA, there's tons of them. I don't know why there's so many stink bugs here, honestly. And that, that was a mistake by me. A very big mistake, actually. I'm actually gonna heal up there because uh, that's a bad that I, that even happened. Um, don't know what this guy is trying to do. Oh, he's trying to hit him with the um the good old crossbow. It's kind of cool that it's there, but I don't know. 
Yeah, this was a bad idea. I summon people, and these people don't seem to know too much of what they're doing. I, I'm, I'm saying that, but I'm not really that much better. Ooh, okay, there we go. I did dodge. Um... I don't know, it makes the boss a lot harder when you summon so many people, but it is more like the game, although they are using magic, so it's more like Alfheim than anything, if you're talking about Sword Art Online, although this makes it a lot easier, I think, with people helping out. Um, I guess he's back there, he's trying to hit him with a crossbow, but I don't know why, I mean, it's not, he's not, Oh, that's why, okay, oh wow, that does a lot of damage, a lot of freaking damage, let me just, oh man, dodge, nice, that's nice. Oh, what, he can't, oh, I thought it was going to fall off there for a second, I was going to say, wow, are you serious? Are you serious? He killed me, he killed me, what? Wow, that is so stupid, are you actually able to do that? Like, are you able to kill your own teammate? Wow, that, um, that's, that's saddening. I don't even know if I beat the boss, I, I don't think I did, maybe I did. Does that count as beating the boss? I mean, the boss was dead, and then I died, but I think that you has to say that you won before it actually... My teammate's killing me. My teammate murdered me. What a backstabbing person he was. What a terrible person. It wasn't even like he invaded me. It was actually... See, I don't know if I quite agree with that, but... Okay. I don't know. Personally, I don't think that should be in the game, but, you know, this is Dark Souls, so you should expect things like that. But that's really, I mean, I don't know if he did that on purpose, but if it, if he did, which I think he might have, because the boss was already dead, and he saw that I was in front of the cross, but I think it was a dick move if I, if he knew that I was actually going, if I was in front of the crossbow, because honestly, that made me um, go out of my actual life form, so that basically wasted, pr pretty much completely wasted one of my um, human things, those things that turn you into humans, so it wasted one of those, and um... Yeah, he was saying he single-handedly got rid of one of those for me, apparently. And freaking spears! I can't do with these guys. Get out of here. Okay, so yeah, so he basically wasted one of my human effigies. Um, what a dick! What a dick! Um, all right, I guess we just keep on going. Hope I'm just hoping that uh, it didn't do what I thought it did. And is that a glitch? It was a glitch for a second there. It wasn't showing up that I had a sword encrypted. So. I don't know. I guess I'll just continue on. Um, I, I don't agree with that being there, but I guess, I don't know. I mean, I guess the idea maybe is for invaders, but it wouldn't even be for invaders. I don't know why. It should just shouldn't be there. I don't think you should be able to kill, be killed by it. And I'm going to die. And I would laugh, honestly, at this point. I would just laugh if I died. But, um, all right, I'm going to drink up. The boss better be dead, because if he's not, I'm, I can't use a human effigy and things like that. And it's just going to be bad. Oh my god. Alright, well, there you go. Uh, I guess we're just gonna solo the boss because I guess these uh, douchebags came in and killed me. Uh, thank you. Thank you, my friend, for murdering me and uh, right when I beat the boss, too. So, uh, thank you. I want to thank you for that. Let me see here. Can I... I don't even know. Let me see. Default positions. What is this? By effect? I, oh, okay, it's, it's how you organize them. Okay, I see. I see what's happening. I want to see how much strength I need. 20 strength for a halberd. That's a bit overkill, don't you think? How much strength do I have? I have 16 strength. Interesting. Okay, well, I think our ring has healed us pretty much to full health. Uh, as full as we can go without this little system. And these motherfuckers apparently... Oh, man. Sorry for my language. Sorry for my language. I'll probably have to. I don't know. I might, may or may not edit that out. You know, I want to. I try to keep this channel generic. You know, generally pretty clean. It annoys me a lot though that someone would actually do that. And I don't know if it was on purpose, but you know what? I'm just gonna take a guess and say that it was on purpose. Maybe I just suspect everybody. But um, I don't know. The boss was dead. He was falling down. So why would you? Why would you shoot another crossbow bolt? It doesn't. Wow, okay, well, you know what, I think I'm just gonna die here, so, shouldn't really matter too much. Uh, ho hopefully he doesn't do another charge attack. Roll back. I just gotta be calm here, cause I can beat this boss, I know I can. I did it, I did it once, and now he's just, uh, coming at me, and I can't do anything about it. Oh, yep, I'm dead. Alright, let's just kill myself. Here we go. Alright, I guess we've gotta use another human effigy, because 
uh, our douchebag friend over there shot us with a uh, crossbow, uh, which was not planned at all, but apparently he thought it was a good idea. So, uh, yeah, let's just uh, go get another freaking human effigy. Why don't we just waste another human effigy? Ah, oh, these people. You know what? I want to see what this guy's name is because I know he killed me. And it's not the dude that was almost dead. It was the other dude. So let's see who, who shot me. This guy right here. Why you kill me? I'm going to message this guy. You killed me. You killed me. Why? <laughs> Why? You kill me. We'll see if we get a response from this good old guy over here that seems like he's just the coolest man in town. Alright, well, we're wasting another human effigy. Why don't we do that? Ooh, what soul is this? The soul of the last giant? Well, we're not using that right now, I can tell you that. Alright, let's rest at the bonfire. I don't know, it's, that seems like a huge weapon for trolls. Honestly, I think... I, I would I would trust in the Dark Souls community personally, but you know what? There are some people in the Dark Souls community that just love the troll and apparently shoot their teammates with crossbow bolts. I didn't assume that that would actually kill me. I figured it wouldn't, but uh, yeah. I, I mean, honestly, I don't know if he did it on purpose. Because there's no actual personal gain he gets from that, especially since if I die and the boss isn't clear. I don't think, oh my god, I do not think... Uh, that he gets anything for it, so it's kind of like wasting his time. I mean, he gets the satisfaction of being a, a, you know, a troll, I guess, if he wants to be a troll, but other than that, he really doesn't get any satisfaction. Alright, so I'm, I'm dodging out of the way there. Also, me and my friends recorded another short film today. I don't think I've actually publicly announced this on my uh, YouTube channel, on this YouTube channel yet, but CTC Films is back. So, um, yeah. Um, I actually just got a text, but, uh, let me respond to this text as I'm walking up these stairs. And, uh, you know what? No, I'll respond to the text later. The video takes priority over texts. I, I will, I will make sure this video gets done before any texts are being sent from this phone. I will never, how is this guy still alive? Die. There you go. Alright, I'm getting, I'm getting pretty heated in this video, as you can, I, as you can see. I think that guy just really annoyed me with that crossbow bolt, and now I'm just kind of angry. Okay, here we go. So, let's summon some people, not Akalon, and not that other guy, because they're just going to kill me, apparently. Nah, oh, man, those people are terrible people. Terrible, terrible people. Alright, so heal up with that. I'm going to summon Salitter. Is that how that guy's name is pronounced? I don't know. Deceptive Brownie? Deceptive Brownie sounds like he knows what's going on. He seems like he knows what he's doing. I won't bite. Oh, yeah. Pumped up. Let's get pumped up. Let's pump it up for the boss. This is the second boss in Sword Art Online. We're going to kill the Pursuer. Floor 70. Definitely. War Cry. Yeah, I don't really know what to do while I wait for these people. So, I'm just going to kind of stand around here in circles. Deceptive Brownie. You've got the coolest name that I have ever seen. I'm just going to give you a good old... A good old no way. That's what you deserve. Is this guy summoned or is he like... Oh, he's bowing. So, oh, let's see what this guy said to us. He seems like a pretty cool guy. So, let's see how he goes. Uh, a message box received... Um, why? I don't know. We're about to figure out. Oh, no. I was like, just kidding, man. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, so he was holding down the shot. I'm like, it's all good. I'm just going to tell him it's, it's all. Oh, man, they're waiting for the fight. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to, I'm just trying to say it's. It's all good. Why is it saying I'm all... It's all getting. No, why would I want to say that? Why would I ever want to say that? And why is my PS3 controller lagging? Oh, man. Okay, this is just great, isn't it? This is phenomenal. Why is this doing this? Come on. Okay, there we go. Send. You know, they take a lot longer than it actually originally intended it to take. So, there we go. Um, now we can actually enter the mist. Um, just want that guy to know that I'm just joking. I'm not... I don't care that he did that. I, at the end of the day, I, I, I'm pretty sure he did it on accident. If he didn't do it on accident, you know what? It was kind of funny. I, you know what? You were in a YouTube video. Um, you can actually run backwards while being locked on. That's pretty sweet. 
Oh, look, he broke it. I didn't know he could break it. Oh, man, I almost died there. Although I wouldn't have actually died, it would have just done lots of damage to me. Oh, man. Oh, no, 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 no. Man, if you can actually hit him with that, though, it does so much damage. It's ridiculous. It's pretty awesome, actually. So I'm going to hit him with that. Holy crap, his weapon is so big. Man, I wonder if he can get his weapon. That would be actually pretty cool if I could. If I can actually get this guy's weapon. I think I did see somebody with his weapon before. Like, when you see, like, people, like, standing at bonfires and stuff. I think I've actually seen people with, the, like, a big sword. And I wondered whose sword that was. I think he can actually get his sword. So that's, that's pretty cool. I don't know if I would actually use it, but, uh... I don't know. It would be interesting to see if I could use it. I mean, most likely you can't use it, like, with my kind of build I'm doing. But, I mean, you could potentially dual wield it. I mean, you can dual wield anything. Oh, man. Gotta heal up quickly here. Gonna heal up. Uh, the ring that I have on does restore a little bit of health over time, so it helps out quite a bit. I don't even know. I was so good at fighting this boss the first time I ever fought him. It seemed like I was doing really good, and now I'm just not doing that good at all. Oh, man. Grimmel, Grimmel Kun. Or Grimmel Kin. Sorry, I thought it said Kun, but apparently not. Okay, so that guy's healing up. Um, let's see here. We're doing pretty good. I don't see how this boss fight could go um, badly at this point. It seems like we're gonna beat him. Oh, man, that, that might hit me. Oh, but... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I'm cursed? Really? Did I die? Or how cursed am I? What does curse do? Huh. That's weird. Soul of Pursuers and Ring of Blades. Thank you, my friends. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for helping us with this fight. So, what did we do? Um, Possibly the Soul of the Pursuer... Uh, it's made, you can make this, the blade, the pursuer's blade with that, I'm guessing, is what, how you make the sword. Or, maybe you have to kill him before he, uh, he does that, he, like, before he's actually a boss. Like, if you kill him before he's actually a boss. I would actually like to try to kill him, like, before he turns into a boss, before you get to this stage in the game, like, the first time you encounter him. I would actually kind of like to fight him, just to see what happens if you, if you kill him. Sorry, I had a hiccup. Increase his physical attack. Why not? Let's get some physical attack up in here. All right, so let's go to equips. Uh, Ring restoration. That's pretty useful, actually. That increases my max health. Uh, this I don't really need. I mean, it's nice, but don't really need it. Ring of blades is probably better. So I w I'd like to test out how much I actually hit with the ring of blades and without the ring of blades. So we'll do that, and then I'm going to end the video there. <clears throat> it's going to be a little bit shorter of a video. I really just wanted to beat the Pursuer in this video. I don't want to really go back and do the Tower Flame or anything. I don't want to get um, any farther in the game at this point. I just want to uh, kind of just relax, go back to the bonfire, sit down, have a nice cup of tea. Because, you know, here in America, we just love tea. And uh, there you go. I mean, personally, I love tea. I don't I don't see it like it's not a super popular like, drink to drink, I guess. 309. We can almost murder them in one hit. Not quite. Uh, this guy's gonna come down. Oh, wait, no. Don't come down yet. Don't come down yet. I've gotta unequip this. I gotta unequip this. Why am I getting a call? I died. I died. You know what? I'm done.